Welcome everyone, I'm Martin Tyler, he's Alan Smith, and we're going to talk about this match today from the commentary position. Hi there, Martin. Yeah, and expecting big things here, there's a great atmosphere. Our match today is Melbourne victory versus Manchester United. There is no doubt that the home side today are the story of the season so far. Tremendous football, great results. Well, heady times for this football club in a Champions League position at this stage. Who would have thought that? It's going to be fascinating to see if they can keep Thank it up. A lot of football game. still to be played. Well, this is always the great moment. The ball's on the centre spot and we're all ready to go. Well, here is the team sheet for the home side. Well, it's the old joke, isn't it, Alan? Diamonds aren't forever, but they are, for this game anyway, for this manager. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? We've got those lads on the side of the diamond quite wide, but I think they might tuck in when they haven't got the ball, just to try and stay nice and solid through the middle. This is then the Manchester United lineup. David De Gea starts in goal. Chris Smalling starts, despite looking shaky in recent games. Jesse Lingard starts with Anthony Martial on the flanks, and they'll play with a sole striker really connected well and disappointed to see that fly off target yeah somebody in the crowd more in danger from that shot this game really is a chance for him to express himself really has weighed in with quite a few goals in this competition that's an easy cut out for the opposition saw the pass coming Manchester United press on in this wide area. I think the cross is on, and that's into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Not the hardest thing he'll have to do today by any means. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Trying to find an opening, not panicking. That's out of danger there with that clearance. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Well, uh, Toivonen. Good vision. Must take the lead here. That's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Put into the middle. Played away, well away from goal. And it goes out from the header for a throw. Poor throw, straight to the opposition. Garner, Fogba. That's good support play from his teammates, giving the ball away now. Well, uh, Toivonen. It's a sensational goal for the underdogs. Well, look at his face. He's loving it, and you can understand why. Well, you're too young to remember, Alan. They used to have square goalposts, and a lot more came out than went in in those days. So, for the attackers, that's a, a bonus of the change in the technology. And in off the post. Yeah, and I think he deserved that, though, because uh, struck it well and right into the corner. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. And that will clear the danger. Terry Antonis. It's a deep cross towards the back post. Cleared away by the defender. Pogba. Wilson, Nemanja Matic. Bit of space for him, now out on the wing. That certainly helps the goalkeeper and those in the middle to stop the cross like that. Not good for Manchester United to this point. The manager is letting the players know he's... In with a chance! Struck the post here! This might be an opportunity to get level. United really should have equalised there. What a chance, what a chance, they might live to regret it. 
Troisi. Here's Honda. Trying to slip it through. Whipped in from the wide area. And they get it away. That's good movement forward here. Manchester United have won the ball back here. Fogba. Well, only two more probing the pass. Looking for teammates in the middle. And turned away by the goalkeeper spectacularly. It is a corner, and they're going to have to defend it. He can frustrate watchers, Anthony Marcio. You know what he's got in his locker, but he's rather just letting the game pass him by at the moment. He started slowly, and he hasn't been able to pick it up. Rarely has he got on the end of anything. Martial. And the cross goes towards the far post. That's a straightforward piece of work for the goalkeeper. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly... Well, heady times for the... Oh, well, this is always the great moment. The ball's on the centre spot and we're all ready to go. Manchester United get the second half underway. Hector. Terry Antonis. Rue. Georg Niedermeyer. He's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception, made it look easy, actually. Slipping it through. And the keeper kicks it away. Fogba. We thought we'd be seeing this scoreline at this stage of the game the other way around. And the football's capacity to surprise us come up trumps again yeah that's the beauty of it they really have played above themselves and the fancied side really haven't performed and here's Paul Popa after this the visiting team are involved in this fixture in the Premier League and you can join us on EA Sports for that match run it back with an interception Here's Brown. It's unlike him, really, to play the ball straight to the opposition. Poor work by Matic on the ball. Now, this is an interesting attack. All about picking the right pass now as he cuts it back. Made the tackle. Fog back. Here's Martial. Well, here's an opportunity with the ball over the top. It's Lingard. He's well picked out. And Manchester United are level. Oh, the writing had been on the wall. The goal then for Manchester United. Well, he could hardly miss that from the right wing. That was a perfect delivery. And they got their reward for it. Let's see the replay now. So, away we go at one all. United, number 10, Callum Wilson. Ola Toivonen. A substitution, and it's Manchester United to make it. He's got his shot off now. It's a drive of some power, but off target. Yeah, I'm lucky. He didn't quite get set for that one. Well, this is interesting, whether the manager is just going to switch things around a little bit. Hector. Fogba. It's Jesse Lingard. Nemanja Matic. 
He's got some room out here in the wide position. And that will clear the danger. Well, uh, Toivonen. And the referee's read that perfectly. Foul there by the United player. Well, decisive refereeing here. He reached for the card straight away at that offence. Well, you could argue he's been a bit harsh there. Maybe uh, another ref would have just had a word instead of booking him. He can only put it behind for the corner. Oh, the crowd delighted with this. Maybe uh, this set piece could lead to something. And in it goes. Fantastic game, this, and it's going to go right down to the wire. Well, Lukaku getting into his stride, and that will be a problem for the opposition. Anthony Martial. Martial! United take the lead! And will we see a response? Manchester United have scored so late in the game, they're tempted to say again. Yeah, they have got a history of this. We should have expected it. Manchester United have moved into the lead, and there's no great surprise in that. Valeri. This could bring them level, but no, a really wasted opportunity. Oh, my word, so late in the match, and that might be that for this team. Manchester United will be delighted with the way that they've been able to turn this game around. Not easy. They've made it look easy, though. Flag up. Offside given. It's a tight one. Yeah, that defence playing the high line. You're always taking a chance with that, but I think the linesman got it right. It could lead to an equalising goal here. Couldn't keep it. And the added time will amount to three minutes at least. Just one minute left on the clock. Well, maybe the counter-attack is on here. Well, they could have been opened up there, but the interception stopped that. Final whistle, and Manchester United have won. Oh, listen to the atmosphere in here. Fans doing their bit to spur their team on for this equaliser. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Yeah, maybe the difference between the two sides. Really solid, really good performance from him. Well, heady times for the... Well, this is always the great moment. The ball's on the centre spot and we're all... <laughs> A welcome to one of the noisier grounds in English football. It's not the biggest, but the supporters are so passionate. Selhurst Park, the home of Crystal Palace Football Club. And Alan Smith and I, Martin Tyler, will be trying to keep our voices above the din so that you can hear our commentary. Coming up now, Crystal Palace against Melbourne Victory. Well, all the attention on the uh, away side here because... What a shock they brought to everybody, the right kind of shock. They've been absolutely at their full potential. I don't know if they can get any better than this, whether they can sustain it. Well, we're well past the halfway mark in this season, aren't we? And they've still got a great show to finishing in a Champions League spot. I mean, if they could see it through, what a huge difference it would make to this football club. Here's the Crystal Palace team. Benteke! Benteke on target. Big Ben has chimed again for his team. Oh, what a great goal. Well, it's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. So the first goal, it's 1-0. A timely challenge. And this is going to be a throw. Now Brown. Honda. Oh, time to get the cross now. Put in from the wide area. 
They've defended with great organisation to get possession back after being under pressure for some time. There's a chance playing at home to extend this run of two consecutive victories into three. Yeah, and the way they've played in those previous two, I, I can see them making it three as well. Ayo! One in front, they would be a lot more comfortable if they were two in front, and they really could have been. Yeah, might they look back on that with a bit of regret because that was a great chance to extend the lead, wasn't it? Terry Antonis. Great interception. Kisuke Honda. Ola Toivonen guiding it through. That's safely away. Now that will be a corner. Oh, what a game we're having here. Another look now at Benteke's goal. Well, he's gone down the middle. Wasn't the most difficult header to save, but he scored in the end. Well done. Corner's taken. He has cleared it well. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. Gets his foot in there. The equaliser here. Super reflexes from the goalkeeper. Corner kick given. Swung in from the corner. Maya. Penteke. Jordan Ayu. He's given possession away here. Throw easy. Terry Antonis. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. He's coming forward with some danger. Well, now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? On the move and able to cut out the pass. Patrick Van Arnhol. Max Meyer. Menteke. Sheikou Kuyate. Not rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. Rue. Croasi, Terry Antonis, couldn't keep it, Sacco, Matt Ritchie, Martin Kelly, Sheikou Kuyate, Kuyate, bit of keep ball going on here, Max Meyer, shots on here, what a dive to reach it and make the save. One of the saves of the season so far. Corner given. Great header. Great save. Oh, nothing wrong with that, was that? I thought he was going to score with a header, but top keeping. Short corner designed to move the opposite. Kuyate! Well, he used the inside of his head well, but not the outside off target. Yeah, just slightly missed time, that one. Terry Antonis. Kroasi, Kisuke Honda. Well, the goalkeeper's got there, but only just. <laughs> Two who's around the uh, crowd for a three-minute add-on, which is what we're going to get for added time. That's a poor touch, and the possession's gone away. Terry Antonis. They could have got through there, but the defender, last half-time at 1-0. Oh, Team's all set, and we're ready for the start of the second period. This might be an opportunity to get level. 
And it is. There's the equaliser. And that could be a turning point in the game. Yeah, the momentum must be with them now. Can they go on and win it? Small fry they might be, but they've had a big moment here and they're level. Yeah, they've got great spirit within this team. They would not lie down and uh, who knows now. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Meyer. Jordan Ayew. Penteke. It's good work between these two. Here's Honda. Ola Toivonen. The... Uh, Attack has fizzled out here. Goal kick. What about this one? Honda's goal. After this, the visiting team are involved in this fixture in the Premier League. And you can join us on EA Sports for that match. Crystal Palace are going to make an alteration. There's a substitute coming on. An incisive pass. Now the possibility for a cross. There's still danger here after this half clearance. Well, he has got a chance to get the cross in. Put into the middle. Good block, but a poor cross. He's given it away. Sheku Kuyate. Matt Ritchie. He's got it back again from his teammate. Treads it through. They're grateful for that. To have an intervention like that and get back on the ball when they're defending so much. Now this looks promising. Ola Toivonen challenges for the ball. Jordan Ayew. Well, this could be. A decisive breakaway here. They've got numbers forward. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. It's getting very desperate for Crystal Palace. It's time for the Alamo. By the looks of it, they need a goal and they're piling everybody forward. Hope. To put them in front. They have taken the lead. He's beaten the goalkeeper, but only just it went in off the keeper. Well, I think he's just a pair on the ball, Martin. It was too much for him. Different angle on it here. He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that. But his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. And we restart the game 2-1. Saka. Sheku Kuyate. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Enteke. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Well, he's cleared the danger. He's got his shot off now. We're going to get a corner here because of that deflection. Coming off the pitch, number 17. Christian Penteke to be replaced by number 21, Connor Lucky. Put the corner in the middle. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Opportunity to cross it now. Quick with shots on here. It's in, they have scored. Oh, they can breathe a bit easier now. It looked as though they were on the verge of a a defeat which would have been very unjust in truth. There's a few moments left, they've still got a chance to win it, of course. But the very least they deserve from this game is a draw. And they are drawing again now. Two teams 
brilliantly matched in this contest. It's level again. Well, we're coming to the end of the game, 2-2 two, two still. What about looking forward to their next game? Well, Crystal Palace go up against Chelsea. They fought pretty hard, but haven't hit top gear, so I think they'd be fairly pleased if this finishes level. Neatly intercepted. And five minutes remaining. Change coming up for Crystal Palace. Well, most of these supporters came in expecting to see their team win. It hasn't all gone according to plan, but I'm pushing them on now. In with a chance. He's had a real go. It's a decent effort, that, with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. And he really did fizz it, didn't he? The manager just trying to get his message across down there. They weren't far off taking the lead there. They're playing pretty well. A substitute coming on. It's a tactical change. Valeri. Mm -hmm. The time to be added on here is a minimum of three minutes. Three minutes of added time. Maya. Rue. Well, there we are. Nothing to separate these two sides at the end of this contest. Well, this has ended level, and there's something to smile about for both the managers as they shake hands down on the touchline. You get these days, don't you? You can't beat your best every week, and uh, neither of these teams were. It's a good showing from him. I think he'd have hoped for a better result. That was an important equalising goal. Didn't have a whole host of chances, but certainly put that one away well.